Well, hello, my friendly shoppers, and welcome back. This is Gina. Now, we're going to do something new. We are actually at the Great Junk Hunt. This was located in Del Mar, California. It was going on at March 3rd and March 4th, and we had a great time. And I love looking for antiques, looking at antiques, and having a few throughout my home. And this is something I've just had a passion for most of my life. And I just, or most of my adult life, I would say. Well, actually, even as a, a kid, as a teenager, I love finding antique pieces, going to estate sales. And so we are going to browse this place. It is a large place. It's located at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Again, it was going on through March 3rd and 4th. It is a traveling show. It is mostly antiques. And I'll say it's mostly, there are some new items. And the prices, now, you know, these are separate vendors. So everybody has their own pricing. Some of it seem reasonable. I've been to some antique fairs where the prices were really high. And of course, a couple of pieces I found reasonable. Some were just a little bit higher, but I just always enjoy looking at this stuff. And a lot of people were here with a wagon. There was food here. They even had a bar so you could walk around and drink and if you wanted to. And of course, they, they want people to have a few drinks and you know open up their wallets. <laughs> I mean, these cameras, I love looking at vintage cameras. There is one I'm looking for that my mother used to have, and it's just more nostalgic for me. But I mean, this is not too unreasonable. $65, I know these could get really expensive. The Sears, I enjoyed seeing that one. So you do see some new items like this. And I'm talking about, because I know these people are really passionate about the crafts that they make, and you know, try to make some things vintage. There are a little bit of mixture of everything, which I love. You know, $18 each, not too bad. These are all mostly handmade items. The whiskey bar, now this is $35. Now this dresser, my daughter absolutely loved. She has an antique dresser, it's a smaller one. But I'm looking at this one, I love the drawers. It is so clean and she loves antique furniture. That was $2.95. And this is a canvas print of old fashioned cocktail. Those are $25. And I do like the space. They really had some fun, unique items. These little plant hangers. This is Disney. So you can see how creative they got. They had some of nature. There is a kitty. And then there was like hearts. So those were $28. And look at these bowls. These wood bowls were so interesting. And these were selling. So this is $28. A lot of people had the wagons, the ones that we show from Costco. We even had ours. And this is where you need it. So this is like the dresser. It's not as vintage looking. Uh, I have a I haven't paid like a cherry wood. And, but that's, that's what my daughter has right now. And check out this vendor. So I'm going from spot to spot. I'm trying my best to keep people out of the video. But sometimes in places like these, it's a little difficult. Check out these sacred hearts. I had a friend who collected these. She would have loved it. Yeah, $79. It definitely is a piece worth investing but it's so pretty and then the wings a lot of angel wings i noticed and how pretty are those a lot of little easter items And yeah, the bunny egg cups are $12. The bunny planters for $18. I love finding these keys. $10. I have a couple of these that were my grandmother's. I love these skeleton keys and these little stones. $12. How pretty. That is just so gorgeous. 
Now there is a cost to go to visit. Uh, we went as an early bird, so this was this was recorded on Friday, March third, and oh, my husband loved this. He loved this for an outdoor huge like fire pit. It looks like that's what it was used for. But anyways, yeah, we came here on March third. We paid fifteen dollars for my husband and I. Um, our daughter was free, so twelve and under is free. Yeah, this chair is eighteen hundred dollars. But it's all worn in for you. That does look like a comfy chair. To now, any time there's any events at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, and this is located in San Diego County, a famous fairground. It's actually really nice. You could hear the ocean when you park, and it's really almost like on the water. And it's about fifteen dollars to park, and that's with any event <laughs> at the Del Mar. That's sometimes when you have, see any event at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, you know you're gonna have to pay for parking. But so many gorgeous now, so many gorgeous garden items. This gnome now, this is the gnomes. These are the gnomes that I like. They're just so unique. Now this piece. I have a bench made of this iron. This stuff is not easy to find nowadays. $3.89, but for the whole set, I've seen it gone for so much higher. My husband loves this butterfly butterfly bench. That was $1.29. He thought that would be so pretty for the yard. And this area, now this spot was so unique. And it's no secret that I, you know, I do like Disney, but that part got a little bit crowded. And then there's some shirts, some flannels that people add their own embellishments to it. They made their own handbags. So you will find some vendors like these, and then you find some antiques. And these are some of my favorites. Like, look at the blow mold bunny. He might be a little creepy looking, <laughs> but he was adorable. Now, depression glass, I love depression glass. I was really intrigued that they put a black light on there to make it glow. And the wooded spools, honestly, I do have a lot of these. They were my grandmother's. I keep them in large mason jars. So I love seeing that things do sell them. They, they were quite pricey. And this vendor has some really unique chairs that she redoes. Here we go. She says, happy chairs. And by my happy place decor. Now this gentleman is a lot of iron cutting. You saw my yellow submarine. So for any beetle fans out there, they would like that. I saw a few of them walking around. And had these dragonflies, those were $25. Really some fun garden items. And just really amazing work. This little tiki garden. I mean, just let's see how much this one is. $125. And these are all handmade. You have the welcome sign. You have a dancing kitty. There are so many unique pieces. You can see, yeah, I did grab that little Disney sign. That one was $55. And now we're going to show a little bit of this. This vendor had like Star Wars pieces. So my husband was totally excited about this one. They took unique pictures and placed them on wood, which was so unique. So Robin Hood, you have the wood banners. There was some Alice. They had Pinocchio, Nightmare Before Christmas, the Haunted Mansion. So there's some more Alice. And a lot of Disney characters. I just thought these were such unique pieces here. And this is just so fun. My daughter was having a blast as well. Oh, look at that little rocking chair. Oh, how adorable. And these are matches. Those were matchbooks that they've recreated. I love that strawberry box. I loved it. I really loved it. I just, 
I was just kind of like, they were preoccupied, so I didn't get a chance to ask them how much it was. It was really high. And then check out these little crowns. My hands are full. Because my husband is looking around. He has the wagon. <laughs> but those crowns were $7. Look how cute those are. And then they had some of the hearts as well. These metal hearts. How much were those? $20. Now, this is another unique piece. Frankenstein. Those were about $2.25 a piece. Made out of wood. And some unique art here. These like little tiki signs, they look like they were made on old uh, metal shelves. Now this was just probably one of my favorite pieces I saw at the show. Now, of course, even if I wanted to buy this, like, we do not have the truck for it. And I mean, just look how massive this metal, the, what's it like a cast iron sink? They do not make sinks like these anymore. And just to find one like this um, just was just amazing for me. Yeah, so that was $1,800. I loved how they used where like the faucet would be. They put the umbrella, such great ideas. This buffet was really nice. I have one very similar to it with the mirror. And this is $625. My husband was just kind of like, oh my goodness, they painted it. So mine is still in its natural wood state. <laughs> and the folding table for $325. I mean, look at these very unique pieces. They took an, you know, an antique. I and mean, we saw like a couple antique doors made into tables. These little bunnies for $25. And then this vintage tray was $45. And that was really pretty. Now I got excited over this bowl. My mother has this bowl, sterling silver. She's always polishing that up, $23. And look, check out this star. One of my friends collects stars. So she would have loved that piece. This old mattress that they're hanging on. Look at these old skis. That is actually really cool. There were so many fun items here. This metal whisk that Turner, my mother still has, my grandmother's. And I just love seeing this stuff. The vintage windows. Now our former house was built in 1940. When the new owners purchased it, they changed out all the windows. We had the original windows and yeah, it was cold. <laughs> And they took them all out. They were so nice to give us. They reached out to us to give us those windows. So we have a few of those still. Now, this is this is a product. This is actually made in Italy. My mother and I both have the tea carts. So I grabbed that tray for her. And this is a piece that I really am liking. How much is this one? Yeah, $2.25. But it's just like we couldn't get it home. <laughs> Now this was very unique. It's a doctor's office step stool. You remember those? The doctor's is metal. I mean, yeah, the table for a, this 145 tongue depressors. And so here is some Joanna Parker. This is not really antique, but this is some of the stuff. I don't think they make them anymore. I know there's been some changes in the last year with Joanna Parker. But I did fall in love with this bunny. The bunny was $12. It was probably a couple of dollars. Like it would actually be like $10 at Home Goods. The scale. I love these old kitchen scales. Actually, those are those. I remember those in the grocery stores. $160. I actually do like that sign. So everybody, well, thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope to do more of these. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will talk to you later.